Oh, hey there. For sure, we're preparing big for the Asian Games. You know what? Our coverage actually started weeks ago from different sports 101 covering some of the new disciplines like esports and breakdancing that will be included for the first time in the games to breaking down the data of the games. Like, for example, do you know which country has hosted the most Asian Games? And we also have amazing live streams from the front line with our hosts, our reporters, and of course, the athletes. And there's also vivid images of the host city Hangzhou showing amazing stuff like when the cauldron was lit at the grand opening and all the biggest highlights. Now, let me break them down a little bit more. First, our special series called Asian Games ABC which is all done vertically this time because we want to make sure you can catch it all right on your phone. Hosted by my wonderful colleague Ning, she knows everything you need to know. For example, do you know what CPAC TACRAO is? Oh. Since they're all about Asia, you gotta expect some serious Asian vibes, right? And speaking of which, have you ever heard of this sport called CPAC TACRAO? Sabak Takro is like the super cool traditional sport that's a big deal in Southeast Asia. You might know it as Pick Volleyball. And let me tell you, it's got some real history. Back in the day in ancient China, there was this military exercise called Tsuju, where soldiers basically kicked around a leather ball to keep it in the air. Fast forward, and now that's how Sabak Takro found its way to Southeast Asia. In a Sapak Takrov match, you've got these two teams, usually with like two to four players each, battling it out on a court. It's kind of like a mix between volleyball and football, but with a twist. Imagine trying to kick a ball over the net without using your hands. Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what these players do. They pull off these insane jumps and flips to keep the ball flying. Isn't that fun? It's like volleyball played in a way you've never seen before. All right, that's enough about CPAC Tag Route. Let's keep going. Another of our special series is called In Chart, where we break down all the stats into easy to understand graphics. Our colleagues on the graphics teams are busy crunching the numbers to turn them into charts like this. Take a look at this. Do you know which video games will be included in the games? Esports will make its debut as a medal event at the upcoming 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou, the capital of China's Zhejiang province, in September. Seven video games will be included in the esports category. China is now the largest esports market in the world, with revenue reaching 144.5 billion yuan in 2022, an increase of nearly 70 billion yuan over 2017. As of the end of 2022, there were nearly 488 million esports players in China, 25.7% of whom were fans of shooting games, making it China's most popular game type. The esports industry has really grown here in China and across Asia as well. And that's why they've been included here at the games. Now, many esports fans say the inclusion of esports this time as a medal event is a milestone for the industry. And now, up next, our live streams. There's a lot going on with these. We've actually put together an all-star team of our hosts, reporters, volunteers, staff, and athletes from all across Asia in all different sports. And they're gonna, all going to be in our Hangzhou studio sharing interesting stories from both on and off the court. And don't forget, one of the most important Chinese festivals, the Mid-Autumn Festival, is going to be taking place during the games. So getting ready for some truly unique Chinese elements on the 29th. Oh, and by the way, we actually did a little preview live streams just days ago with our hosts and reporters. There they are. They're going to be on every touchline, set line, and finish line covering the games. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing any of those in this year's Asian Games, <laughs> but who knows what the future will hold, right? And uh, thank you for tuning in. We are currently streaming on various social media platforms, including Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Chinese Weibo, WeChat, Bilibili, Yang Shipping, as well as CGTN's official website. Uh, and mm, so getting ready for some very exciting live streams. And finally, our picture series. We call it the color gallery. It will show off all different sides of the whole city Hangzhou. For example, 
Here it is in purple. Now, purple is the main color of the Asian Games, also the main color for the game's logo. It represents reunion, unity, vibrancy, and innovation. And here's a city in yellow. Now, yellow is inspired by the city flower, the laurel. And just by looking at this image, I feel like I can almost smell them blossoming. All right, here are some highlights of what you can expect from us for the games. But make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms to make sure you don't miss anything from our exciting coverage. And just before I go, also make sure you don't miss our little quiz because we're going to be throwing questions on our social media platforms to find out how well you know about the games. And actually, I have a question for you, Chou Yuan. Do you know which country has hosted the most Asian games?